Welcome back to Easy Is Hard. Next up we've got On The Bench With Luke, which is a segment where one of us goes and interviews an athlete. And sometimes while one of us is working really hard to try and get a solid interview out of someone, the other one's not doing that at all. No. Yeah, as these next clips will testify to that. It's when you have an issue, and that's when you start to lose tricks that a lot of the time take a long time to get back. Yeah. So it's, um, I don't know, it's all about, it's all about weighing it up for yourself. And yep. for me, for me, like, you, you have the injuries, but it's always going to be worth the feeling of landing that trick. Yeah. Skateboarding is yep. one of those things, you put it down for six months and you're starting again. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And you, you, you also train. Yeah. yeah. So just purely for the love of it. And yeah. then, yeah. yeah, was there a point that you thought, hey, I'm really good at this. And that's when I sort of was like, okay, hey, I love this. So I went down to Queenstown after that to try to a season to sort of pursue it. Mm. But I season never really worked out and I just didn't. You won that battle. I'm going to admit defeat there early. I was shopping. Yeah, well, I was skateboarding and I actually nailed a trick finally. And you didn't even buy a pair of shoes. No, you almost nailed a seven-year-old in the head with a skateboard. No, not really. You need one it of those like leash ropes like a surfer. Imagine that, a skateboard with a leash. That's stupid. Thanks for putting down my ideas. It's a bad idea. One thing I'm a little bit upset about uh, with last season and our interviews when it comes to uh, On the Bench with Luke is the fact that you got to interview all the girls. That's true. Here's a segment with Luke and the babes. Hello, I'm here with Anna Wilcox, a professional slope style skier. <laughs> uh, thank you for being here. No worries, thanks for having me. It's always good to have a chat. Yeah, uh, you're looking very brown. You've been to Bali recently. Yeah, had a cheeky holiday before the season kicks off. Just a bit of a break to sort of, you know, calm down before it's all busy, busy for the next few months. Great, yeah. So. Home of, there's dinosaurs back there. Um, I'm with uh, Luca Jones. Um, Five times, six times, seven times national champion. Something, Something like she's that. won it a lot. And uh, two times Olympian. Um, yeah. Thank you for coming here. I know you've just got straight off the plane. Um, so where have you been and what have you been doing? So I've just been overseas for seven weeks on a training camp. So a bit of time in the UK, uh, Prague, and then three weeks in Rio training on the Olympic course, which has been pretty amazing experience. Um, so Ella, I know you've, you've achieved quite a lot already in your very young career, but what's, what's your biggest achievement to date? My biggest achievement to date would probably have to be the, the world title in 2016. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, that was awesome. That was like the biggest moment in my surfing career and my life. Like It was amazing. It, it turned my life um, upside down in the most positive, best way ever. So can I interview some of the girls this season? You, you did interview a girl. You interviewed Sarah Walker. You, you know what happened when you interviewed Sarah Walker? Olympic medalist Sarah Walker, one of New Zealand's treasured athletes. Let's have a look and see how he acted then. Just be trying to have fun, is it? Oh uh, yeah. I, I think it's really important, even for the kids that have been doing BMX for a long time now, yep. and the more things they try and, and yep. all that kind of stuff. So. Um, and you're doing us really proud here in New Zealand. Thanks, Thank you. Sarah. Cheers. Cheers. I don't know what the problem was. You're disgusting. I can't believe I did that. I want to apologise to Sarah Walker. I was nervous at the time. The sun was in my eyes. I was running. Uh, I even shook her hand at the end. It's my most embarrassing moment. It's not even a live show. You can probably ask someone to stop the camera recording and then go and blow your nose. Thanks, Luke, for the advice and the tip. I'll take it on board. I hope you do. Moving on quickly, swiftly, Yes. actually. Yes, move on. Uh, one of my favourite parts from last season's On the Bench with Luke was interviewing Brad Smaler. I said your name wrong repeatedly in the first season, and I'd like to apologise again for that, Brad. Um, but he had a horrific accident while wakeboarding. Uh, he's now quadriplegic but he still has an amazing attitude about life and it was really inspiring. Yeah. How, um, and this is sort of 18 months ago, this accident, how have you yeah. coped with this mentally? Can I ask that question? Because that's just someone, you know, you're an absolute athlete, the top of the world yeah. in that sport, and then that gets taken away from you in a second. It's, um, it's, it's been a battle, um, but I've learned a lot from having my core abilities taken away. So. Everything I'd ever done was physical. That was me, I was a physical person. And mm. so to have that taken away, I lost who I was, basically. Yeah. So I guess in a way the cool thing was is I was, you know, I'm now able to 
rediscover who I am um, on a mental side and I've been learning a lot. I've got, you know, some amazing people that I've been working with that have been helping me with it. Um, you know, learning things like presence. Um, mm. So, you know, not focusing on on the past, not thinking about the past too much and what happened. Yep. Not worrying about the future. Will I walk again? You know, yep. it's, you know, what I have is today and tomorrow when it gets here. And, and so just taking it all as it comes. And yep. I guess at, at the end of the day, I guess I just have to... Mm to enjoy life and, and enjoy friends and family and having good people around and enjoy what I can do and not worry about what I can't do. And, and so, um, so yeah, just take it day by day and focus on what I want to achieve, but also, yeah, just uh, being happy at the same time. Thank you to all the athletes coming on our show, talking to us and sharing your journey with us through uh, your chosen sports. Awesome. Thank you so much to you guys. Yep. We couldn't have done it without you. Yep. And thank you for putting up with Luke. Yep. He's, you know, he is who he is. Yeah, and I'd like to apologise once again to Sarah Walker mm. for snotting on you. Lest we forget. Lest we forget. Also, thank you to Mountain Dew for supporting us and keeping this show going. Thank you. Hey, cheers. Cheers, man. And we are looking forward to season two. Get those clips through now. Easyashard.co.nz. If you've got anything to share, fire them through and we'd love to share them on the telly. That's us, Luke. We yeah, can, that uh, is us. Yeah, we can go. Yeah, we'll see you next time. We'll see you next week, actually. <laughs>